Good morning, YouTube modeling community. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while, but I finally finished another one up. I finished up that uh, AMT 71 charger, and I did it up a little differently. I uh, painted it up like an old Warbird, because I had a set of decals from a P-51 kit that I didn't use. They were for the little Indian scheme. And I was looking at the charger, and I thought, yeah, that'd be pretty neat. I was just going to do it straight silver at first, and I um, actually have stripes that I painted on it, because I wasn't going to do the RT decal, and I wasn't going to have a big scoop sticking out the hood either. But a lot of things don't go to plan, and uh, I, I think I'm glad about that this time, because this thing turned out looking good. I'm very pleased with how this car came out. Black trim, black bumpers. Uh, a few of the decals did not stick to this paint. I used um, this Diamond Dust Tester's Extreme Lacquer. I should have thrown a clear coat over it, but I didn't. And um, when I was moving the thing around a day or two after putting the decals on, this one came off and uh, both of the stripes tore. But that's not really a big issue. Uh, so I ended up just... Um, sanding through the stripes a little bit and uh, doing the same on the hood just to kind of make it look a little more weathered and uh, I definitely like how that turned out and up here we've got the 440 um, the kit was pretty good I used everything from the kit in the engine bay except the intake obviously I don't know what this supercharger came from. I have no idea what the scoop came from. If someone could tell me, I'd actually greatly appreciate that. But, um, the blower's so big, there's no space for the wiper motor down in there. And, um, the AC kind of just runs into the, into the blower a little bit, but we don't worry about that. Small details, and I just like the way it looks with the hood on like this. I think that's super cool painted the inside up kind of like a warbird too if I can find an angle that I can show you in there it's hard to show the interior on these things but it's um a dark olive green with brown padding on the seats levers and switches are red dash and trim is black in there and uh, some of the exposed parts are zinc chromate and there's black floor mats that are really scuffed up down there I have to say, this kit went together extremely well, even down here. Um, no major complaints on construction. Underneath, I'm greatly pleased with how it turned out. Once again, I just sprayed it diamond dust, painted the subframe black, and uh, I did the gas tank zinc chromate just to break it up a little bit. But um, rear end went together nice. It was straight, the holes lined up perfectly. It wasn't bent or anything, the leaf springs lined up perfectly. The subframe went in perfectly. I did not have any fit issues on this kit that weren't created by um, the blower that I put on. And I uh, added some little ladder bars down there just, you know, because I could. Not using them for anything else. But that's all for the car. I'm greatly pleased with how it turned out. The hood was definitely fun to cut up like this. Definitely a fun looking car. I'd drive it. And um, I also finished my workbench in the time that it's been since I last uploaded, which was over two months ago. So um, this was here, I believe, last time. We had the, um, the painted, the painting, the painting shelf. But um, I widened this the desk. It now goes all the way to the wall. This is one of the sides from the old shelves that used to be here. This is a new 2x4 and there's a new 2x4 in the back. But the um, supports down the middle came from the old desk that was here. I built those, all of the shelves on this wall, uh, out of old pallet lumber, actually. Um... The inch and five eighths stuff, I um 
took rough cut lumber that my dad got from work and I milled it down on the table saw to make this so that I could have some lighter framing for it. All of the 1x4s on this actually came from my high school because over the summer I was running at the track and some guys were doing work up there and they asked me if I knew where to get rid of probably 60 1x4 sticks of pine that were about 15 feet long each. And um, they told me I could take as many as I wanted if I wanted them. And I fit 35 of them into my Ford Fusion and drove home. But that's how that all turned out. Got this little guy underway still. I um, well, You see, I cut some templates out to make parts for it. So I'll be making those eventually and hanging it up here. But I think that is about it for um, the shop update here. I've been enjoying the new shop. I call it the new shop. It's the same room, but I've been changing a lot. Um, up next, I think I'm going to paint up a little P40. And I'm going to do the uh, teeth on it because I just like the way they look, man. So, everyone have a great day. I'm sorry I haven't been more active in the community. I have been watching a lot of guys' videos, but I have not been leaving comments. I'm sorry about that. But a lot of guys have been out there doing great work. And I'll continue to watch and support everybody in that way. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and you have a great day.